a group of six security officials, armed to the teeth, break through the thicket of bushes. Approaching the lone, pristine cabin under the full moon within the Linemark Forest on the chilly night of September 17, 1801. Driven by the desire to save the dozen kidnapped children, they break into two teams readying themselves for the fight to come. When they breach the residence, the story the lone survivor of the raid would spin would linger in the hearts of the Rolling Hills residents to this day living on in the form of cautionary bedtime stories. But before we open the book on the Aunvec haunted forest kidnapping, tuck the subscribe button in and read them a horror story. But before you leave the room, turn off the nightlight and lock the door from the outside. Without further delay, let's jump into the story. On March 19, 1800, Grifta Quincy sat on her freshly cut grass in her underwear, feeling the rain gently plop against her skin. To her, there was nothing more peaceful than the uncountable momentary occasions of the cold rain striking her skin before it warms. She loved the lush scents that filled her nose and the unfiltered sounds of nature gracing her ears. In this moment, Grifta left the horrors of her job behind and imagined a world where people just dealt with their issues without harming each other. Hearing her little brother, Tyler, calling out from their porch, told her it was time to go from work. Grifta didn't sit out in her yard just daydreaming about a better world like many others. She dedicated herself to making it reality. Grifta worked as a special security investigator for the Rolling Hills Department of Crime Prevention, and today she, and along with three other investigators, were being sent 150 miles away to the call town of Tortula to help the local authorities with a series of kidnappings they believed to be connected to a serial offender. Grifta walked inside, getting dressed as Tyler cooked them breakfast. As she picked up her father's tactical knife, she pulled out the blade, giving it quick once over. She felt something in her stomach twist. It was assignments like these that made her uneasy. The last thing she wanted to do was leave her brother sitting on the porch, waiting for someone who'd never come back. Grifta thankfully had Tyler to look after to push back the fact that they'd lost both their parents in this line of work, but what would Tyler have? Shoving the blade back into the pouch along her left shoulder, she took a deep breath, clapped her face with her hands, and put on a smile. Grifta sat with her baby brother sparking up small talk, but she wasn't able to bring up anything besides the routine. How was your night? Topics. After their meal, they walked to the 